Hey family, it's Stephanie Wade. I'm Habasia. I'm also the Creole Grill Test. And y'all, guess what I'm getting ready to do? But popular demand, since I'm in the motherland, coconut conversations, y'all. Yeah, coconut conversations. Nothing like uh, fresh coconut in the motherland. This is the jelly coconut. And this is exactly how they sell them to you, except they have plastic over them, y'all, of all things. Plastic, yes. So, in a way, when you first get them, they already like this. You can just pierce them with your straw. And I have a reusable straw. And you just drink it, y'all. Nice and cold, because it's been in the box since yesterday. I am so lucky. I live like around the corner from where the guy sells the coconuts. He sells giant watermelons and the coconuts. So I don't want no giant watermelon because my refrigerator is too small. But the coconut, y'all, it's like being in a little bit of heaven. Yes, a little bit of heaven. Oh, how y'all doing today? I hope y'all are doing just wonderful. I feel like I'm in uh, one of those uh, military commercials for the Marines because I've already gone out to eat at a restaurant around the corner. The Icy, let's see what it's called. The Icy Wonderland. And I got the book from last year they gave me. And so today, we went over there and had some food to eat. So I had lunch. I had shrimp uh, with salad, garlic shrimp with salad. It was good, y'all. How y'all like my earrings, y'all? You see my Africa earrings? Ear candy made by Janice Houston. She's a subscriber. And she's such a sweetheart, y'all. She actually made this ear candy custom for me and gifted them to me. I feel so blessed. So her earrings are here with me in Africa. <sighs> yeah, y'all, I love my collection. So I took all her earrings with me here, you know, that she gave me. But anyway, y'all. I hope y'all are collecting y'all's ear candy wherever y'all are. Because I love my ear candy. I love my necklaces that go with them. You know, because I don't wear gold. I wear silver or brass. <laughs> you hear neighbors outside that go to show you. You're in Africa, y'all. <laughs> You never know what you'll hear. You might hear a goat doing something. Now I hear a woman screaming. We not really in the country, but she probably from the country. You know, the village. And she's screaming so loud. And this is like a gated area where all the uh, embassies are. You know, like the Guinea embassy and all of that. Big old international schools, you know, for rich ambassador children. <laughs> so, <laughs> walking in a street is no big deal, you know, compared to the people in their little palaces. Uh, I'm a papa. So, can walk the streets freely and speak like you're in Texas. Hey, how you? Fine and you. Sure, you can start talking uh, what, uh, what is that? How fair can be saying, assalamu alaikum and alaikum salam. But I tell you, when you do that, that opens up another can of worms. Then they want to be talking a mile a minute about something else. And then you don't know what they saying. So I just decided to keep it real this time and just let them know up front I speak English. You know, and I get the response. <laughs> Oh, I'm fine. And you? <laughs> so, apparently our ancestors had some retentions from here. Because that's the response. How you? Hey, how you? 
fine in you. So that's what they say when they speak in English. So you'll fit right in if you're from the South. Now, if you're from a place where they don't speak much, get ready, get ready, get ready. Because <laughs> that's what they do. Otherwise, you're considered antisocial. And if people offer you tea, especially if you have Airbnb or somebody that's your friend, if they offer you tea or coffee for the love of the most high, drink something because it's an insult not to. You know, if you don't drink coffee or tea, say, I'll take water. And then they'll bring you a bottle of water. But I sit down, I drink tea with the host here. She's very nice. It's, it's good when people sit down and talk to you. Then they get to know a little bit about you. You get to know a little bit about them. Then you don't seem so threatening to them. Because everybody has a fear of the unknown. Nobody around can say they don't have a fear of the unknown. So when you talk to somebody and, and they talk to you, you both see that you're both human, trying to enjoy your human experience. You know, since you was a spiritual being having a human experience. At least you have the best experience possible. If you just go along with the customs in the area. So, that's one of them. It's just a, just a little tidbit, y'all. That's all. And then when you have friends, if they offer you to do something fun, by all means... Figure out a time when you can do that. Of course, you got to realize you have things you got to do, so do that. So anyway, guys, I tell you, I've been getting such a good sun since I've been here. I feel like rejuvenated. But anyway, y'all, I can't make this too long because it's hard to upload if I do. Hold on.